Good afternoon, friends. It is uh, almost New Year's Eve. It's the 31st today, and I'm uh, just wrapping up a few days of retreat here uh, with uh, the monks up at the jam pot. And it's been a blessed time for a little bit of uh, rest and relaxation, some prayer, a little bit of skiing. Uh, and uh, as we come to the end of this year 2020, I just wanted to say a few words. Um, it's been a, a year I think none of us expected of many challenges, and I hope also uh, maybe some graces we can identify. Um, just a couple observations, I guess, uh, as we finish the year to end it on a spiritual note. Um, excuse me. First of all, I just wanted to say uh, I'm full of gratitude um, to so many people who have supported our parishes, um, who've supported St. Al's, um, uh, parishioners and friends, family members, uh, certainly alumni, uh, parents, uh, many, many people who have really uh, stuck with our parish communities and their ministry uh, and their mission. Uh, and that's been an incredible blessing. Um, uh, as we went into the early part of the quarantine and as the, the intensity of the pandemic became apparent, I think like many pastors, I kind of wondered uh, where we would be at the end of the year. And I'm so grateful to say that, that we're in a, uh, by God's grace, a really good place uh, with a lot of support. Um, uh, even though we haven't been able to get, you know, everybody back to mass yet, uh, uh, we are in contact with and communication with each other and praying for each other and uh, united before the Lord in prayer and we pray for the day. Uh, soon, God willing, when we can all be reunited at the altar uh, in praise. Um, so first of all, gratitude. Uh, and I think uh, just in terms of spiritual disciplines as we come down the home stretch on this year, uh, any time you spend today, any time I can spend today uh, praying with gratitude, uh, identifying God's blessings, I think that's going to be uh, fruitful for us. Um, Second of all, as we go into 2021, uh, I think we have uh, more reason than ever to know that we don't know what the new year will hold. Uh, we pray for blessings and for uh, maybe increasing resolution to some of the limitations that have come from the pandemic. But, uh, you know, we didn't know what 2020 was going to hold, and there's no way we can actually know in advance what 2021 will hold. Um, so what, uh, what can our spiritual disposition be? Um, I don't think it should be fundamentally a false sense that we do know what's coming. Um, but rather um, to be rooted in this confidence that, the, that we're in the Lord's hands, you know, that whatever comes, whatever challenges arise, whatever graces are offered to us, um, all of that is going to happen in the context of the Lord's love and mercy. Uh, God has offered me personally, and I think our parish communities, uh, many blessings during this difficult year, uh, many unexpected blessings, many um, opportunities to receive his grace and to love one another. Um, and I have no doubt whatsoever that he's going to offer us more opportunities uh, to grow in faith and hope and love in 2021. And so I think um, along with gratitude, uh, I think uh, a disposition of spiritual surrender uh, to say, Lord, um, be it done unto me according to thy word. We celebrate on the first day of the year, the calendar year, the civil year, the feast day of Mary, Mother of God. And Mary is so notable uh, for her surrender to God. And so I think as we enter into 2021, as we celebrate uh, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day um, with gratitude, uh, with thanksgiving, um, but also a surrender to say, Lord, uh, I place myself, my family, my hopes and fears, uh, our country. Uh, Lord, I place all these things in your hands. And, and I beg that you would uh, make of us, Lord, uh, do with us as you will, confident that your will uh, is what's best and most beautiful. So a few words of invitation, brothers and sisters, know my prayers for you and my gratitude. Uh, and uh, please pray for me. God bless.